So today we're going to hit chest, biceps, and shoulders. And it feels pretty recent since we hit it last, which is, because I think it was just a few days ago, but since I'm like changing my split, I want this body part to be right after I do quads. So they're probably, I don't know if they're going to be like my chest and biceps are going to be fully recovered since last I hit them because it's was pretty recent, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just probably going to be this one week where things are going to just be adjusted and, and then the next week everything will like just, you know, go back into a more flowy state and stuff. So I'll try my best. I'm not expecting too much. So yeah, but I'll probably be fine. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. And um, yeah, I feel better today. I know yesterday I was having a tough time feeling good about like yesterday's workout and I appreciate you guys being so nice though like kind of reminding me like hey like <laughs> it still was a good amount of weight like don't be hard on yourself and all that stuff and and I started to like tell myself that after like I was like I was just overthinking it I, I don't know why I'm expecting to like hit a PR in squats when I haven't done them in forever um you know so just kind of like taking a step back and like not overthinking it. And I do want to try them again. I did want to try it on the Smith machine. So hopefully I can, it's just like an easier, smoother feel, at least I think it is. So I want to try doing that on the Smith machine, but it was taken. So I was kind of bummed about that. So hopefully the next time I can do that and, you know, just, just be patient with myself. You know, I feel like you can't rule out something unless you do it a few times not just like once, you know, and, and so just kind of like considering like, okay, I, I've done this for a while, maybe I need to switch it up, you know, so, so yeah, if you guys are trying something and you only did it one time, you're just like, no, no, this is not for me, like, let me try it, try it a few more times, you don't, you don't know, maybe it was just like, yeah, you're really tired that day, or maybe it just, you know, wasn't feeling good, but doesn't mean maybe the next time it won't, and it was your first time doing it, so just a lot of things to like think about and not just be like, you know, just kicking it out right away. So yeah, we'll try it again. Um, I do like them. I just, I'm just like overthinking. So yeah, we'll do them again. But um, yeah, I, uh, I appreciate you guys being nice. I was <laughs> like, I want to be vulnerable and like share my thoughts, but also like me doing that is leaving room for people to, you know, criticize or say things. And I am aware of that, but a part of me, you know, I, I feel like I don't like me expressing myself and me reaching people that are similar like to me and, and how I think I will be vulnerable for you guys. Like, I don't want you guys to feel like, you're alone because you're not like I am the same as you like I feel these things I feel you know I you know like I don't know so like I don't mind because you guys are the people I'm trying to reach you know I like I told you guys like my the people that mean a lot to me they you know I think they're amazing and I don't ever want them to feel like no one understands them so you know, if me expressing me being vulnerable and if there's people that understand how I feel, like you're the audience I'm trying to, you know, connect with, not the people that automatically want to tell you exactly how you need to do something and, you know, tell you everything you're doing wrong and all that stuff. Like, no, I'm not trying to talk to those people, you know. I do see them in the comments and I appreciate you guys <laughs> being kind of like, what, what are you trying to do? Like, what are you trying to say? Like, you know, but don't worry. Like, you don't need to do that for me. Like, just, we'll just spend our energy on each other. Like, just, you know, spread energy towards the people that, you know, you feel like, you know, will not take away your energy, you know, and that's going to be, you know, same as in the comment section. It's, it can be kind of crazy. So, you know, I, I notice them, but if I feel like the way they are just like talking at people, like instead of just being like, you know, an open question or a suggestion, like things like that, I feel like those are the people like, you know, I feel like you can actually have a conversation with because when people already are set on something, you can't have a conversation with them. They're going to just want to tell you like everything you're doing or saying and like they're in the right. So 
I don't know, just those things always get put me off. But, you know, I, I feel like, you know, there's very few. So I'm very grateful for that. But, you know, I appreciate you guys just being like, like I'm able to connect with others that are on the same page as I am because I would never tell you guys like this is how you're supposed to and like I don't know just talking at you guys I would hate that like I don't want to be making you guys feel like how I don't want to be feeling you know so so that's why it's just also helps me because I'm like I don't want you guys to ever be hard on yourselves if something does feel off or whatever because I'm just like no like maybe you know this or that like there's so many factors and that's why it's it's crazy when people don't take in like oh well maybe that or this because of this and like you know knowing that there's just so much more that they don't know about you know because what if someone's doing a certain thing because they had injured it in the past and so they have to lift in a certain way to help because they don't want to give up and they don't want to like just be oh well if I can't do this then I can never lift like well, no, maybe I can lift, but I have to like adjust in a certain way and like do this. But no one knows any of that. So that's why it's just like, it's crazy when people like, like talk at people when they don't know like their whole situation or whatever. So anyways, I just, I just wanted to touch on that because you, like I said, I'm talking to you guys, talking to the people that, you know, understand where I'm coming from and all that stuff. And I just want to share my journey with you guys and if it can help someone that's all that I ever want that's it and you know and if it doesn't then yeah like <laughs> I just I don't know so yeah that's that's all and so yeah I I feel like I feel like I, I said what I want to say so we'll just you know have a great workout I yeah I don't I don't know why I've been feeling a little off. Like, I'm not going to lie. I felt like I was almost second guessing, like, which never happens. Um, I was like, man, like maybe I should rest today and go tomorrow. Like, I just like, I don't know, mentally just, um, I guess more personal stuff going on, but I'm just like, Hmm. But then I'm like, well, I know I'm going to feel better if I go to the gym and all that stuff. And I, I always do. I always feel better after because it's good just to like, I don't know, get a good workout in and stuff. So here we are. And yeah, I'm just like, you know, just take it step by step. Drive yourself to the gym or go to the garage, you know, just wh whatever the situation is and and then just go step by step. And no reason to like overthink it. Cause I feel like when you start overthinking it, it's like that time you're overthinking it, you could have just already done it, you know? So we're gonna get it done. We're gonna have a great workout. And yeah, like that's, that's all there is to it. So uh, I'll see you guys inside. Okay, one of you guys suggested this and I totally forgot we had this machine. So thank you for reminding me. <laughs> oh, that's so silly of me. I was just like, you know what? I forgot I, how much I love this machine. So yeah, we're gonna do it today. We're gonna do our three sets. So this is gonna take place of the flat bench because it's you know, it's just a different, you're just upright and same movement. So, um, yeah, we'll just get into it. So I've never done this way before. So I'm just glad to feel like, you know, my chest is really getting stronger or my body parts, which is funny because I was just talking about how I wasn't expecting anything today because my chest needs to recover and stuff from not hitting it or hitting it kind of recent. But, you know, when you're feeding your body a lot, I feel like it just really, really helps with that aspect of like recovery. So, I'm happy with this weight. We'll do it for the next two sets. Um, yeah. What I'm like, you know, keeping in mind when I'm lifting is starting with 
not like the bare minimum, but like not overdoing it because then if my body's still seeing results with technically the bare minimum, you know, that's, that's amazing. Cause then later it's like, okay, like when it starts by towing, that's like, okay, let me think about what I need to adjust or add more to, because you don't want to go into something and just doing like the most and thinking you need to do all of this when you're barely starting, like, no, your body is just going to absorb all the new movements that you're doing. And you know, they, they call it, I think beginner gains. So like, yeah, take it by a little bit and then, and then see, you know, like no reason to go all crazy when you're barely starting and not, don't ever feel bad about that. You're working smarter, you know, not harder. So you will still see progress. Cause that's, I feel like that's a nice indicator. If you're seeing progress, just keep going with that. And then when you do plateau, just consider like all the reasons may that, that make fee. So, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and do the next set. I will say, I wish this wasn't so close to you because I feel like this is like an awkward trying to like sit into it and then push up because you don't want to like pull your shoulders, you know, because it's in a so close to your body. I wonder if anyone else knows what I'm talking about because I feel like that, especially if like you're bigger, geez, like, do you see how much space I have right here? Like how my, my arms, so. I will say, I don't really, I don't like that. So, I mean, I hate, I would hate to like keep going until I do hurt myself or something, but I don't like that. I wonder if there's a better way to go about that. But so far that may be my best bet. The Smith machine was open. I did want to try it, but I was just like, nah, let me try this machine. So I don't know if all the hammer strength machines are like this, but like, do you see how close that is to my body? It doesn't really, I don't know. Yeah, just some, some thoughts on that. wanted to do a little drop set. Okay. All right, so the fly machine's taken, so we're going to do some flies with the dumbbells.
I don't know if my head's cut off, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was really liking it on the flying machine. So these don't feel too bad, of course, but I just feel like the flying machine just, I, I don't know, I just was able to get that nice squeeze. Um, Cause when, you know, at the, they're at the top, they feel like, you know, they're rested a little bit, or at least the tension's different when it's like that. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but I think, I think that those flying machines is a, uh, one I'm preferring right now, but um, these are fine. And uh, they feel good. I'm doing like more reps with it and keeping in mind, you know, have your elbow bent when you're down here and then straighten out when you're up here. I would like to hire the weight, but that's the thing with dumbbells. They go up by fives, so it's not like I can, you know, when it comes to chest, like I said, it's those little bit of increments will do a difference. I don't want to jump all the way to five. So that's another reason why the machine's been feeling nicer, because I can do little increments in a way that the dumbbells I can't. Now, oops, sorry guys, probably can't hear. Um, now we do some biceps. Or actually, well, I wouldn't, I want to do shoulders, but what I want to use is take it. So, you know, biceps, fine. We'll do biceps next. I know one of you guys suggested to wear like a necklace thing, and I think that's a good idea, but I don't have one right now. <laughs> I don't even know, maybe Amazon would have something like that, but this thing keeps flopping, so I apologize in advance if it's muffled.
So like I said, we did that last, that was technically a new movement and I'm already stronger because it's the second time doing it. And you know, sometimes it's like that because when you're first doing something and I keep repeating myself about that and I need to listen to it sometimes too, because I forget, um, you know, don't expect to be strong at something you're really starting in. Even if it's a little bit different, even if it's, you know, just a different machine, but it's technically the same muscle, but it can just, you know, your body's still getting used to it and figuring it out. <sighs> okay. But yeah, this felt really nice. Okay. The mic keeps going all over the place, but you know, that's not going to take away from the workout. <laughs> um, just probably not be the best audio for you guys. And I will fix that. Now I'm realizing how annoying that is. Like it just flopping all over the place. So just something to, you know, not worry about. Don't have to. So I need to fix that. And also like leaning my hips a little forward and just have a slight, you know, bend. Well, you know, now that I think about it, I think it was a bad idea to do biceps before shoulders. See, I never do it, so I wasn't even thinking about it. But my biceps are so pumped. How am I going to live? I don't know. You know, it's just one of those things. Just kind of have to learn from literally doing something. Sometimes that's how it is. You have to do something to really, like, have it ingrained. Like, okay, that's why I don't do that. So... You know, it won't be like this for the next one. Um, yeah, it's just funny. Now I'm just like, wow, that's just a no-brainer. But just one workout out of many that we will have. And uh, it's okay. It's, it's going to be fine. It's funny. You guys probably already saw that coming. They're like, no, no, man. Her, our biceps are going to be too pumped for uh, her shoulders. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I got the, I got the message, but you know, it won't, knowing that now I'm like, nah, well, I mean, I won't do it again. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. You know, Oof. Okay. last one. Okay. 
That's felt good. Yeah, I'm really enjoying doing them like this. It's funny, it's like I'm having, I have my favorite machines or lifts. And so it's, I'm uh, letting that revolve too much around the workout. So I'm like, I need to just, you know, have my, do my second favorite and just, you know, understand that's just how it's going to be. Things are going to be taken. Um, Cause I was really enjoying the shoulders with the Smith machine and they're taken, but you know, I should have just done the second best thing. And uh, you know, it's, that's always going to, it's going to happen. So I would, at least that, that's what I need to start doing. So obviously it would be nice to do my favorites, but <laughs> that's not always going to happen. But when it does, like th that's nice, but yeah. Okay, so we're just committing, you know, we're going to finish off the biceps and then we'll do the shoulders. I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> still gonna have a solid work because I'm happy with how my biceps are feeling so I'll take that because I just feel like I've never really like focused too much on my arms which is crazy that's why I'm like man I you know so when something's lacking and then you actually react like evaluate well I haven't even really been hitting it that much so makes sense so anyways they just feel really good today and I'm I'm happy with that Okay, so um, that was my second set. I did one off camera. So we'll do one more and then we have shoulders. And yeah, we're just it's going good so far. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay. Oh, my arms hurt. I'm just gonna press my arms. You'll see me in a little bit. Okay, so I was silly to do biceps before shoulders because my gosh, my biceps, I cannot bend them and do shoulders. So we'll just do a bicep flex. And then also where I like doing my flexing, um, that's all was taken. So that's okay. But it's like super bright. <laughs> yeah, so uh, today's been an interesting day. So I'll see you guys in the car. So as you guys saw, we didn't even, I tried, I attempted shoulders and no, no, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> My biceps were too pumped. I, I couldn't like extend. It wasn't, it just wasn't worth it. So I'm just going to do shoulders when I do back and just do it that way. And, you know, just, just keep in mind how you order your lifts and, you know, your body parts does matter. <laughs> and I was uh, silly to not really think about it. <laughs> But, you know, it happens and we'll just have to adjust accordingly. And yeah, that was just so funny to me. I, yeah, it was weird. It was weird doing shoulders with your biceps super pumped. And I would not recommend it. <laughs> so, uh, but regardless of that, like, you know, biceps, you know, that was great. It felt great. The workout was great. Chest felt great. Um, yeah, it was just super cold in there, super cold in the gym. So that threw me off. I wish I would have brought like something to layer a little more because outside feels nice, but I don't know, it's just kind of cold in there. So I don't, I don't like feeling cold or that cold, you know, in when I'm working out, but um, I'd rather be hot. Uh, so yeah, so that was interesting, but yeah, it was, it was a great workout. Bummed about the whole rearrangement though about like shoulders and stuff but yeah it's okay we'll have a great workout you know for our back and all that stuff and then next week will be more solid because everything will be like back to normal you know so it's a it's a small price to pay for the you know the rest of this whole process so you know just realizing like every time you go in the gym, you're just putting like that small deposit in for the bigger picture, you know, and uh, that is to, you know, what it depends on your goals. And that's why I'm like, no, like what, how I'm approaching it, like is going to approach my goals the way I want it to. So, you know, that's all I can, can do. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, uh, I mean, happy, I'm happy with it. So yeah, I'll see you guys for, it'll be hamstrings, glutes, and yeah, just hamstrings and hamstrings and glutes. Like, you know, that's what we'll be training next. And I'm excited to see how that feels. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys for the next one. So thanks. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. <laughs>